I'm not speaking solely for myself. There are a lot, hundreds of other people that need shelters, that need affordable housing. Affordable housing would, in fact, solve the homeless problem. Now, in 1968, after Dr. King passed or got killed, we'll say, uh, there were 10 cities. And that's what this city is going to turn into if we don't save these benefits and shelters for people to live in. Now also after Dr. King's death, there were riots, or at least a riot. It was a terrible riot that affected a large part of the city. That's right. That can also happen. <coughs> so you either go to jail now or you go to jail <laughs> next year. <laughs> and what we need to do is look at 9,000 dogs, cats, hamsters, birds, and other animals have shelter here in the city. And you mean you can't shelter humans? Well, that's a problem. That's a contradiction. And there are a lot of contradictions in what the council is saying and what action is saying. Now, what we need to do is, like the sister said earlier, stick together, band together, and keep fighting for what's ours. We elected these people to serve us. It's like a lawyer. When you get a lawyer, he's supposed to work in your interest. These city council, are, council people are supposed to work in our interests. And if we don't force them to do what's right, they're going to do what's wrong. That's the mm -hmm. way I see it. Yeah. 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 Just one more thing. Money's available. And if these council people, mother was on the street, I think they'd change their tune. Oh, yeah. oh. When you got somebody that you really care about. The New York, I mean the Washington Post said the first week in this month there was a, a, a meeting of billionaires in Tucson, Arizona. These billionaires, including Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, were finding out ways in which they could give their money away. Money is available. You, you have grants, you can have a lottery for the homeless. There are a million and one ways, and a lot of people that are advocates for the homeless have uh, expressed that over the last few weeks. Keep fighting, and we're winning. Yes. 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 So now that we do have Chairman Tommy Brown here in our presence, we have two presentations that we would like to make for him. We would like Deanna from 1DC to come forward and present to him the accurate survey results from DC constituents, reflecting the desire to restore funds to the safety net. And of course, we'll be more than happy to give yeah, Chairman Brown. Where, where are you at, Ms. Deanna? I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, we're trying, we're trying to get her to the front. There's such a large contingent. Yay for not being able to make it to the front. <laughs> you know, I'm from Southeast, so I can bust through. Yes, me too, honey. They call it East of the River now. They call it East of the River now. So with the attempt to engage the community in the budget process, um, one DC members decided to take the online survey that Mayor Gray had put online with his attempt to engage the community and we went out and hit the streets. So I want to present to you This is our summary call the People Speak on the City Budget. Um, we did outreach of Ward 2 and 7 and 8. Um, and asked very, some of the very same questions that um, Mayor Gray asked, but looking at the fact that the survey was put online. So how many people from the community actually have access to the internet to be a part of this process or can make it down to council mm -hmm. meetings and testify before the council? So we wanted to make sure that the people that were really being hurt by this budget process were included. So I'm going to share these results with you, and you've also heard all of the stories from the people that are here. And I just want everyone to give a, um, the people that were part of the that hit the streets and got this and collect this information and data. Um, just if you put your hands up, we got Bill right here. Right there. Right right but I thank you everyone for being here. But just making sure that this budget is it, the the purpose of the city budget 
is to include the people that are being impacted by the process and make sure their voices are heard. So we know that you all are out here today to make sure that happens. Thank you. And lastly, Chairman Brown, we know that it was your number one priority to remove the tax increases from the mayor's budget. And we want you to know that DC has spoken, in fact they shouted, that we do want to share the burden and restore our safety net. So we've brought you some dollars here from your voters to help you remember when you decide to make that vote, that that money is necessary to restore safety net services. Not build homes we can't afford to live in, not build businesses that won't employ us, but to restore our safety net services. And with that being said, we want to thank you. And we will conclude our safety net tour by letting you all know that we will be meeting tomorrow at Bread for the City. Oh, you, oh, oh, yeah. you can speak. I'm so sorry. I apologize. We would like to have we would like to have Chairman Kwame Brown speak. After that, I'll let you know what's next. No, I figured I should be able to say something. I mean, yes, I apologize. I mean, come here and uh, let me, first of all, uh, let me thank you. Uh, for coming out and continue to advocate and make sure that you know we restore and look at how we treat not only our homelessness here, families and men and women, but making sure that the least of us have every opportunity to participate and get up off our feet so we can make sure that they can have a good quality of life. And I want to thank you so much for coming inside of this building, going to every single member's offices and really making your voice heard. Let's give yourselves a round of applause because this is important. You're here for a reason, right? Am I right here for a yeah, reason? Yeah, yeah. The reason you're here is because you want restored uh, the homeless services, the TANF and the IDA. You want some of that restored that was uh, cut. And more taxes. Well, 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 let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Can I talk? The voucher program. Can I talk? Oh, yeah, I support the voucher program. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I support the voucher program. Every child should have quality education here in the District of Columbia, no matter what. But you're here for Ash. You're not here saying, if I understand it, you want the safety net programs restored. You want homelessness services that were that was yeah. reduced. You want the TANF that was reduced. Yeah. You want the IDA that was reduced. You want to make sure the families and the homeless men, you want some of that reduced. I mean, re restored. Is that oh, correct? That's all right. Oh, 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 <laughs> you want it restored. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Okay. That's that's an ask, right? Yeah. You want it's a demand. And progressive <laughs> revenue is also yeah. last year. And that's it. I'll let you guys talk. Let me talk. I just have a question. Like, no, I'm, I'm asking about the homeless services. But if we ask, we have to answer you. I'm sorry? If we ask, we have to answer you. Yeah, no, I do. I have a problem. You know I don't have a problem with that, Eric. Come on. Come on, Eric. You don't have a problem with that. I just want to be clear because there's a lot of different asks. And as a group, you're asking a, a number of different things. And I want to go through them so I'm clear when I walk back through this door of what the ask of the group is. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. I'll be glad to mm -hmm. now, uh, if you don't agree with anything I, I'm saying, I invite you to, to raise your hand, but I would like to answer the chairman's question as our tour guide. Is that okay? Yes. 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 Okay. It's okay to ask a question, right? Chairman Brown. We are asking, as D.C. residents and voters, that you fully restore our safety net here in Washington, D.C. We are also asking that you implement progressive revenue, including the mayor's income tax brackets, if not surpassing the mayor's exactly. income tax brackets. Yeah. Yeah. One, moment, one moment so that he can hear, and if some people don't disagree, because we have several different asks, we can respond. And so that in that regard, Every year, as it has been in four years, human services has taken the brunt of those cuts. Therefore, if we introduce progressive revenue, namely new income tax brackets, <laughs> we will not have to have that problem next year, or the year after that, or the year following. We will instead be able to give us self one DC, which is not a second DC that has haves and have nots, but a one DC that is comprehensive and reflective of the diversity of the people who live here. That's it, and that is all. Are we in agreement? Yeah. Yeah. To tell you where I am, and we're going to continue our deliberations. But we're going to do everything we can to restore uh, the cuts that came down in the budget uh, for the homeless families, uh, for the men and women, uh, for the TANF, for the IDA. We're going to do everything we can to get that back to where it was. That's my commitment. My commitment, I'll be clear, my commitment is not, no, I'm not, I will not introduce a budget 
that would propose to raise taxes on DC residents, but I will propose a budget. Yeah. Well, what about the super millionaires? Why can't you raise taxes on the big millionaires? Well, that's, that's, that won't be a proposal for me. But we'll, what will be proposing for me is to ensure that we restore a lot of the cuts that were, that were put in the budget, and those cuts that came down will be restored. And that's what I'm working on, restoring the cuts. And if we can restore the cuts without raising taxes, that's what I am prepared to do, and that's what I'm prepared to do. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Hey, we're in connection next year. Where are you going to cut $60 million? We have several people who have asked Chairman, if you all could listen for just one moment, we have several people who've asked Chairman Brown since he's been working behind closed doors, since the mayor proposed his budget on April 1st, what he proposes to do to get that money. Um, would you like to answer that? Mr. Um, Brown, how do you propose to get the money? I just want to know, realistically, can you be honest with us? Because it's not going to come out of thin air. How are you going to get it? Well, well, we know it's not going to come out of thin air, and that's what we're working on right now. Well, and that's... You know we're going through the budget process as we speak. Speak up, please. We're going through the budget process as we speak. We're going to do every single thing I can to restore, as I just mentioned, all the homeless services, look at the TANF, look at the IDA. That's, that is a commitment that I have to this group to do. But where now, is the money going to come from? Where is the money going to All I would like to do is finish. Okay. At the end of the day, if you don't do that without cutting any other services, mm -hmm. I think that's when I hear from people, that's what they want, to make sure that that's restored. And I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that that happens. Is that a promise? Yeah, you didn't answer the question. Where is the money going to come from? Is that a promise? Is that a promise? Chairman Brown, Brown. 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 Is that a promise? Because, because we, 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 if we can please, please calm down. <laughs> Although you may not have been pleased with the comments by Chairman Brown, you will be pleased that Save Our Safety Net DC as well as our partners do have another opportunity for you all to come. We can plan what our next steps will be since Chairman Brown is not quite sure what his next steps will be. So you can join us. Why you can chairman? join us tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. at break for the city, where we will have our next planning meeting. So it's on, tell them it's on it's, the brochure. For those who have a tour guide stop, this information is on the back of your brochure, but I do want to say it aloud. All is welcome at the Save Our Safety Net Action Planning meeting tomorrow, May 19th.